Hey guys, Joe at Field UTV. Today, we're showing off our newest build, a 2023 Can-Am Defender Max Limited. All right guys, so our customer brought this 2023 Can-Am Defender Max Limited to our team in the shop and kind of gave him a blank canvas. But he did have some requirements that he wanted. He wanted a machine that obviously looks phenomenal. He wanted a machine that performed really well, that he can take trail riding and up in the mountains. Um, he was gonna use this machine for hunting and so we put some creature comforts in there to make uh, retrieving his, his uh, game a lot easier. And then lastly, he wanted to be able to use it around his farm, be able to plow his driveway um, and have lots of lighting to see at night. All right guys, let's check out what we did to meet the customer's requirements. First and foremost, the Denali Pro Plow. We really love these plows, you guys. They're made in the USA. They're super strong. They look really good. They have a ton of accessories. You have the plow markers. They come in different widths. Down below here, we have an electric over hydraulic actuator. This allows the customer to control the angle of the plow blade from inside the machine. He doesn't have to get out and fumble through the ice and snow and, and, and adjust the plow blade. Makes it very easy, very simple to plow the driveway and push snow to both sides. As you can see, the lighting on this machine is top notch. We have Baja Designs LP4s both down low on the bumper and up high on the roof rack. Up top we did spot and flood. Down low we did spot and flood as well. This is the dual, but we did it in amber. This makes it very easy to see at night or when it's dusty, um, fog, snow sleet. And so we think it just came out awesome. The LP4s really fill up the gap up top and just make this machine over the top. On the sides here, we did our tried and true Sector 7 mirrors. Again, uh, we wanted a mirror that you can actually see out of, so it has a really big lens. Um, and then up front, it produces a ton of light. Side view, you can see uh, critters, you can see stuff in the ditch, and so forth. Suspension-wise, this machine is, is pretty darn cool. This is HCR's repl OEM replacement kit, so it's stock width, but it gives you a high clearance A-arm, and it also gives you two and a half inches of lift. Uh, HCR just builds a killer product. The box design looks really good on there. Um, for ball joints in the front, we did Keller's. These again, made in the USA, they're fully adjustable, strong, um, and just really wraps up the, the pack, suspension package on the front. Shocks and spring-wise, guys, we did Shock Therapy's new QS3 shock package. They just released this for both the Can-Am Defender and the Polaris Ranger. It's a Fox QS3 shock with Shock Therapy's spring on it. Um, they come pre-sprung for the machine. They're super easy to install. It's two bolts, shock comes off, install the new one. They, they have three clicks on them, so they have a soft, a medium, and hard. The soft is for you know cruising, smooth roads, gravel, so forth. Medium is, they call it spirited driving, uh, and then hard if you're, if you're really working the machine. So you have it loaded down um, with game or with wood, um, or you're, you know, you're, you're hauling ass with your buddies. So. Awesome suspension package, rides really nice, and uh, I think it's gonna meet the customer's requirements. So like I said, one of the requirements uh, that the customer gave us was he wanted the machine to look really good. This is that new Can-Am Desert Tan color, and so we had to color coordinate a few of the accessories uh, to fit the whole package. Up top here, we have the Can-Am BRP roof rack. We color matched the side panels in the Desert Tan, and then down below, we have the Thumper Fab rock sliders or Nerf bars. Again, we powder coated these desert tan. We really like the way that it, uh, it offsets the colorways of this machine. Wheels and tires wise, the customer wanted to have that wide looking stance. And so we did a 15 by 10 method 406 beadlock. Then we wrapped those with uh, 33 by 10 EFX motor rally tires. We really like this tire. It works well in all conditions and they run super smooth down the road. Let's check out the interior of this machine. All right, guys, so we wanted to keep the interior super clean and simple. First and foremost, Switch Pros. Every machine here at Fuel gets a Switch Pro switch panel in it. Makes it very easy to access all of your uh, accessories. So we put lighting on here, we put the ARB air compressor, uh, we put part of our XTC turn signal kit on here. Um, it's just very clean, simple install, uh, and one location that both the driver and the passenger can access. As you can see, we installed a Garmin 8-inch tread. This is their Power Sport model. Um, this thing has a ton of features, you guys. Not only does it have GPS, but it has a pretty cool backup camera. 
Um, it's all touch screen, very easy to use. It also has a GMRS radio built in. So if you have other Garmin handhelds or you have friends with GMRS radios, you can talk to them through this. Down below, um, we installed a Thumper Fab gun rack. Um, these are super cool in the Defender. They're simple. They allow you, a, you know, a passenger to sit in the middle, and then when you're hunting, you can prop it up. On this gun rack, we installed these Moose Quick Cam gun holders. These make it very easy to adjust for your rifles or your shotguns or so forth. Um, again, we kept it very simple, very clean. Let's go jump outside and check out the rest of this build. All right, guys. So out back here, first and foremost, I got to give up to our guys in the shop. They installed that Garmin backup camera right here in the tailgate. It came out super clean. It looks factory. Uh, those guys just do a killer job back there. So I got to give it up for those guys. So up top here, we have the Thumper Fab headache rack. This is the winch rack. It makes it very easy to haul your game or your logs into the bed. It's fixed to the machine, so it protects the glass window and still allows you to tilt the bed um, to drag your, your animals or, or whatever into the back. Um, up top here, we did the S1 Baja Designs lights. Um, we've installed these on other builds. They're super clean, they're super simple, they're very easy to install, and they do a great job of lighting up the cargo area uh, and behind the machine. So out back here, again, we love our Thumper Fab products. This is their Elite Winch Bumper. It houses a worn Axon 35S winch. It makes it very simple and very clean to house a winch and protect the rear of your machine. Um, we co color coordinated the light guards back here, um, and then we also tied these reverse lights into the reverse actuator. So when you put it in reverse, they light up, make it easy to see at night, uh, and so forth. All right, guys, that does it for this build. We hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. This is by far one of the coolest defenders we've got to build. Uh, the customer's coming later this week, and I think he's gonna be absolutely ecstatic with the way it came out. If there's any of the parts or pieces that you want on your own machine, give us a call uh, or check out our website, fieldutv.com. Please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button below so you can see future builds like this. We'll see you out on the trail.